Welcome! This is the first video of a series of videos where I'm going to analyze sentences for you applying the principles of the comprehensive grammar of the English language, this grammar here, which was written by Sir Randolph Quirk, Sidney Greenbaum, Jan Swartwick and Geoffrey Leach. And by means of this series of videos I hope to support you in your syntactic analysis tasks. This is the sentence I'm going to analyze. Perhaps you will never find a job as a linguist, but you should at least try. And once more, this is the grammar I'm going to use. Okay. Well, and this is what we're going to do. First, we will analyze the word classes. We will identify the word classes, that is the simple categories within the sentence. Then we will group these categories into phrases, so we will perform a phrasal or some people call it a constituent analysis. We will then look at the clauses within the sentence and will finally define the sentence type that is involved here. So let us now look at the various levels. Let's start with the analysis of the word classes. And you may have already found out that the sentence contains four nouns, two real nouns, job and linguist, and two pronouns which are subsumed under the heading of noun for reasons of generalization. Two of our nouns are preceded by determiners, a job, a linguist, so in this case the indefinite article a. And then we have three adverbs, perhaps, never, and at least, and they have different function though. And we have auxiliary verbs. In our case, the auxiliary verbs will and should, which are both modal verbs. Last but not least, try and find are verbs, so-called lexical verbs. Well, and the remaining elements are as, which can be analyzed as a preposition here, and but, which is of course a conjunction. So much for a simple categorical analysis. Let's now look at the phrases in our sentence. And as you can see, I already marked those elements in a different color which can serve as heads of their phrase. The four nouns, for example, are all heads of their noun phrases. Two of them are absolutely simple with just a pronoun. And two of them, a job and a linguist, have pre-modifiers, in their cases, the determiner a. The noun phrase a linguist itself is the post-modifier of the preposition as, which serves as the head of a prepositional phrase. And finally we have the verb. In both cases, the verb is pre-modified by an auxiliary verb and a simple adverb. And in the first part of the sentence. It is also post-modified by a noun phrase, a job, and the prepositional phrase as a linguist. So much for the phrasal analysis. Now, the clausal analysis is really simple. We have two independent clauses in a coordinate relationship, and they are linked by the conjunction but. Both Clauses can occur independently. Perhaps you will never find a job as a linguist, and you should at least try. Well, that's basically it. Here is the summary, the overall result. Two clauses in a relationship of coordination linked by the conjunction but, several phrases, word class analysis, and the sentence type itself is a declarative sentence of the type compound sentence, so a compound declarative sentence. That's it. Thank you and see you again.